for joining us once again. It is a wonderful time to be in the presence of the Lord and to be um, spending time in prayer. Amen. The Bible says that pray. Pray without ceasing. So we are going to pray without ceasing, trusting that the Lord will be merciful unto us and uh, bring us to where he has ordained and apportioned for us. Amen. Today is another day in the message of God. They are new every morning. They are new every morning. So I would love for you to prepare your heart. And as you do that, I want you to share the stream to a friend and a family member, maybe a YouTube buddy, a Facebook buddy, a TikTok buddy, whatever it is that you have, so that we can all spend some time in prayer and join in the presence of the Lord. In this generation, a lot of people don't want to pray because we have a lot of priorities in life, okay? We have a lot of priorities in life. One of the things that it's very important for us to know is this, that God is above all. God is above all. God is above all. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to say this enough. God is above all. In the beginning, God. The, the names that we attribute to God in the book of Revelation, um, Apostle John had a revelation and he said that he is the Alpha and the Omega. Do you know what that means? He is the Alpha and he is the Omega, meaning that he is the beginning through to the end. So, he is the beginning of your life. Huh? And after you are dead and gone, he will still be. So he is the Alpha and he's the what? The Omega. There is nothing that you can do apart from God. And if you do apart from God, then you have deliberately decided that you don't want to have anything to do with him. Therefore, you find yourself at the place prepared for Satan and and his demons. Am I making sense to you? So, I, I need someone to understand that this is not just some jargon or some spiritual activity that we are bored. So, because we are bored, we just come here and just sit here and just talk, 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 talk. No, this is a clarion, a clarion call to everybody that is passing by. Whether you are on TikTok or you are on Facebook or you are on YouTube or you are on Instagram, whatever space you find yourself on, it is a call for you to come into the place of intimacy with the Lord. Yesterday, as we were speaking and we are praying, I was sharing with you that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is what? There is light at the end of the tunnel. But see, how you get there is for you to be able to power through. Am I making sense to you? How you'll be able to get there is for you to be able to what? To power through. Somebody say power through. And you power through by prayer. You power through by what? By prayer. Consistent prayer. Persevering prayer. Being intentional and disciplined enough to say that maybe one hour a day I'm going to spend in prayer. See, the reason why I refer to one hour a day is because when Jesus had asked the disciples to go and wait with him, when he came back and they were sleeping, he asked them a question. Couldn't you have prayed one hour, at least one hour, at least one hour? See, there are some practical things that we can do to help ourselves, all right? And this, this is practical. See, you can divide one hour into 15 minutes. You pray 15 minutes in the morning. All right? You pray 15 minutes mid-morning or in the afternoon. 
and then you pray 50 minutes, all right, in the evening, and then you pray another 15 minutes when you're going to sleep. That is one hour in a day, all right? Or you can pray 30 and 30. Pray 30 minutes in the morning. As you go through the day, you pray 30 minutes in the evening, and you're squared up. And for those of you that want to pray more, you can pray one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon, one hour in the evening. It's not bad. The Bible says Daniel prayed three times a day. Three times a day. And the man cultivated an excellent spirit. Three times a day. And we could see a slave boy was promoted to a higher governing office. I'm going to make you say, in a strange land. When I say a strange land, a, a, a land that is not his native land. A land where he was not born. That is what we call a strange land. That means that, you see, you can be in a strange land and you can still make it in that strange land because of the intimacy you have cultivated with your God. Through prayer, through the reading of the word, and through fellowship, constant fellowship, constant fellowship. So, prayer is a necessity to power through the tunnels of life. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure to you, to get to the destination where God has appointed for you, that expected end. Invite someone, invite someone. Invite someone. Invite someone. Get someone online. Let us pray together. Get someone online. Let us pray together. Now, there, there is, there is a, a, a common thing that happens with us believers. That when we think we have messed up, we rather want to run away from Jesus rather than running to Jesus. He says, come unto me, ye that are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Come, come, come is an invitation. Come unto me, come, come. Somebody say, come, 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 come. If you are sitting by someone, all right, if you are watching, type come. He says, come, it's an invitation, come. Come unto me, come, come. Yes, you, come, come unto me. Yes, I'm talking to you. He says, come, come unto me, come. If you are struggling with gossip, come. If you are struggling with your immorality, morality, come. If you are struggling with your finances, come. As long as you are heavily burdened, come. And I will give you rest. That means he's ever ready to give you rest. He's ever ready to help you offload that burden that is weighing you down in this life. But you have to make a decision whether you want him to help you or not. By coming. I'm going to make it sense. So, prayer, I said yesterday, prayer is you eh, having an intimate time with the Lord. Prayer is all about fellowship. All right? So, we are going to pray. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, how you feel, what you're going through, after this prayer session, there must be a relief. If you can focus on Jesus, who is the altar and finisher of our faith. Now, can you lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? The Bible says that we stir up ourselves in our most holy faith, praying in the, <clears throat> the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter. You may feel tight by praying the Holy Ghost. You may not even feel anything by praying the Holy Ghost. It may not make sense to you by praying the Holy Ghost. Livando se celebra capa. Jeman talabado se fente balabada zapa. Revaco se fane menebranda balabrado shalabe. Jaman tabrada badabra doze van tabrada badaba doze ve ze ven koske fene mene brenda balabra doza jabalo sofrande bedeko safaya 
Repenta la bada babrada zapanta le bada daba. Repa kosa bene mele bradoza. I bele branda bada bradoza bente le bada da. Javanka panda bala bradoza bente le badoza be. Repanka panda bala bradoza be. Javanda bele bradoza. I ve kosa bene mende baraba. Rabada babrada bazanta la la baha. I jele bada babradoza vanta la bada brada zapa. I bene mende brende bene bradoza vanta bala babra kosa nebe. Le mene mene neba, raba kose vene mene brende baha, ala brado se le vende brende zaba ya. I vekes ke vanda bala brado zaba, i se le vanda bala brado se vende le baha. I vekes ke vanda bala brado se le vende, i vende brado zaba, i se le vekos ku vende bebe, re vende bala brado se vende le baha, a pa kose vene. I vente le ba, i jele ba doza raba kasa vante vele bra doza ba ya. Le vante bala ba bra da bala ba bra da za ba ya. I ba ka vante bala bra doza ba, i vente vele bra doza ba ya. Le mana mana ba bra da ba, re ve kos vante bala ba, i je ve kos ku vante me de zen. I manda brande ba, i ve kosa vande vele brando zalaba. I je vele vele brande vando sku vande vele ha. Re ve kosa vande vele me ha. I re vele brande ba, ra vando zvende le ba. I ve ke vanda vala brando zale vanda brande vala zala ya. Le brando zvende kosku vande vele. Vende brande zaba. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are watching from, wherever you are streaming from, open your mouth and pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. As you are tapping the screen, you are also praying in the Holy Ghost. I need you to soak up your spirit. I need you to revive your spirit. I need you to stir up yourself in your most holy faith. Levanta la bradoza ve. Je ven kapanda balaba. Rebende vele bre. Rafa kose vele mene brende ve. Rafa kose vanda ba. Je le vanda badada. Rebe kose vene mene me. Rafa Panda panda brando ze vende brando za revendo ze vende panda bala ba revende vende ba ijavan ko za vende mene ba. Le brende bada, rabada bada da bada da baza chale le baha, reven koso vende vende baha, rabado chale vende vende, i vende vende branda ba ya, ravan koso vende vende branda daza, i le bada ba branda ba zo koso vende vende de, reven de vende de da zo van ka ba, i bala bado chale ba, reven de brando za van ka bala brando za, le brende vende brando koso vende vende do za, ala branda bala brando. Those vendele badazaya, ibe kose vene mene de, ala van kozo ravanta baya, ravanta bada brando ze vende, ibe kose vene mada, le mene mene neza, ala van kosha la vende vende ze baya, ravada bada 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 ba, ravanta bada bada brando ze vanta la bada branka baya, ibe ne vene brando ze le ve, ije vene mene me ha, ala van kozo rava kose ve, le Vende brando za bala baha, i vende mene do za reke pande vende brando za leve, i je vende brando za rakata taba, i vende vende de de do za le vako se vende mene me ha, a ravako se brande be, i vende brando za reve ko se be, i vende mene brando za leva ya, i kopa ya ba, i le vende ba, i e branda zova ya, reve ko se vende mene ya. Lift up your voice now and begin to exalt the name of the Lord. Begin to acknowledge your God now. Jesus said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Lift up your voice and begin to acknowledge him. Begin to acknowledge Him. Begin to acknowledge Him. Ah, our Father, our Father, our King, our Ruler, our Judge, the God of all the earth, Alpha and Omega, the beginning through to the end. Le vene masa tabrando zava ya. I reke teke te vene mene ha. La brando zava. Je vanda brando zava. Tala bala bala ha. Ravan ko se vene mene ne. Ravan tala bala bala ba. Je vanda Brando zeve, i vele bado zeve ko se fa ya. 
Mantelevaya, E Kapa, Zavanto Zaleve, Rako Sheleve, for you are God, for you are our shield and you are our truth and you are our buckler, you are our covering, you are the ancient of days, you are the ancient of days, you are the rock of our salvation, you are the lily of the valley, you are the bright and the morning star, you are, you are God all by yourself. Jehovah is your name, the self existing God. The other day, you said to you said to you said to Moses, I am that I am. You told uh, you revealed yourself to Abraham as El Shaddai, the Almighty God. The Hova, the Labrador, the Venemacos, the River, the Bandos, the Lava, the Venemeneha, Ravada Babrados, the Venemeneha, the Labrador, the Fantos, the Va, the Bracapanda, the Brandana, the Va, the Venemrena, the Mazanta, the Va, the Recapandos, the Leva, the Venemrena, the Banana, the Mazanta, the Banana, the Braya, the Abandos, the Vandemenebrand, the Zoya, the Copanda, the Banaba, the Chevranda, the Bandos, the Leva. Remente Bredose Van Cantosa Vanta Vanaba, Javanta Bradosa Vaya, Ivene Bradosa, Yamaka Panda, you alone are worthy, you alone are mighty, you alone are glorious, you alone you are magnificent, you alone you are mysterious, Ravane Masufene Brende Badazavaya. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that if we confess our sins unto Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I need you right now to go before the Lord in prayer, and we are asking Him to forgive us, forgive us of the inordinate affections that we have cultivated in our hearts for one another. We are praying that He will forgive us of the idolatry. He will forgive us for, for the unbelief. He will forgive us of the lies we tell ourselves every day. He will forgive us of not even accepting us as he has accepted us. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you forgive us of our sins. You forgive us of the things that we have done, the trespasses, those things that we uttered out of our mouths that are not true. Father, those things that we accused our brethren of that are not true. Father, those abusive words that we used. Father, you forgive us, O oh Lord, for not trusting in you, for not believing in your word, for not living according to your instructions, O oh God. Father, forgive us, O oh Lord, of the gossip. Forgive us of the bitterness. Forgive us of the betrayals and the backstabbing. Father, forgive us, O oh Lord, of the sins, the sins of oppression, the sins of fornication, the sins, oh, livranda zefenem, Kapaloza, Reto se fenem rende, Ile rebako se fende, Ravado se le vende, Father, the disobedience of the rebellion, O oh God, the stubbornness, O oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Now forgive us uh, that those things that we have deliberately done, uh, and those things that, uh, O oh Lord, unconsciously we we did. We pray that you forgive us. Uh, pray, pray. The Bible says uh, that Job offered atonement of sins uh, for his children. Uh, we begin to pray and ask God to forgive your children. Any sins they may have committed uh, in their ignorance, uh, deliberately, we are praying uh, that God will forgive. Uh, and as you pray, I want you to lift up your voice and plead the blood of Jesus. Uh, the blood that cleanses, the blood that washes, the blood uh, that sanctifies. Uh, lift up your voice. Uh, the blood, uh, the blood that speaks a better word than that of Abel's blood. This day we pray in the name of Jesus. Ravando se fene meneha, in le vaco se vrande balodosa, revene menedosa, recoche leve, ravanta balabada dazava, e revendo zavanta ravada zovende, in le vaco zava, ravanta la badoja, revede zovanta, e veco se fene meneha, 
in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says that because of the blood, we can now boldly come before the throne of grace to obtain mercy. To obtain what? Mercy. And find grace in times of need. Now that by the blood we have been able to come before Abba Father, I want you to begin to pray the Lord. This day show me mercy. In the name of Jesus, this day, oh God, show me mercy. For your word declares that your mercies are new every morning. And your mercies endures forever. Come on, somebody lift up your voice and pray. The Lord Jesus, do the river the Zoya. I pray the Lord continue to show me mercy. Lord, show the ministry mercy. Lord, show my family mercy. In the name of Jesus. Ravante brada zavanta la bada ba, jevante brado zeleve. Ya kapa kapa, ibene bele bele la ba brada zavanta la brada da ba, ravanta brada ba da ba ya, levanta brado zevente brada ba, levanta brada ba ya, bada brado zeve, jevakoske fande bele da ba, ravado zevente brada ba la ba, jevanda ba la ba do ze, ige panda ba ya, ravanka panda ba da ba, ravan. Those of Antemla Desava, if Venemene Mazantelaba, Ravadosha Lebrendebe, Rabaco Sefende, a Labrando the Venemeneha, Labaco Sofana Manaba, if Veco Sefe, Labrande Baliadoza, Jevende Belebradaza, Ivanka Pandaba, Rabadoza Leve, come on, pray for mercy. We are praying that the Lord will show us mercy. We are praying that the Lord will show us mercy. We are praying that the Lord will show us our children mercy. We are praying that the Lord will show our business mercy. We are praying that God will show the ministry mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ravado 
in the name of Jesus. Now, the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 7, it says that unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. To everyone has been given grace according to the measure, according to what? The measure according to the measure of the gift of Christ. I want you right now to lift up your voice and begin to pray. And we are praying in the name of Jesus uh, that the Lord will cause all grace to abound towards us. That we have been sufficiency in all things uh, abound unto every good work. Uh, come on, lift up your voice and begin to pray. You need the grace of God to sustain you in your prayer life. Uh, you need the grace of God to sustain you in holiness. Uh, you need the grace of God Nimranda uh, Badoze to propel you in the badoza into purpose and into destiny. You need the grace of God to be able to do the work of ministry. To each and every one of us has been given grace, but we need grace abound. Lift up your voice and pray the Lord. According to your word, we Lebranda Zavaya. You are able to cause all grace to abound towards us that we have been sufficiency in all things are bound unto every good work. Father, this day as we come, we pray for grace. We pray for grace. We pray for grace extended. We pray for grace multiplied. We pray for grace, of God, revamped in the name of Jesus. For your word declares you give strength to the weaker and you give power to the powerless. Oh, Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. We recognize the Je vend de bacos à faire. Je mène brandos à faire. Il copane de vadabra. Il va cause à faire. Mène brandos à la vadacos à l'éveil. Imana mana na mazanta na na ba, jevanda bara na mazanta na na ba, ravanda bara na ba ba, jevanda bara na mazanta na ba, rava va va jeva, ravanda bara ba ba ba, jeva bara na ba bara jeva, levanda ba, jebra na bara na ba, jevende, leva ko se fende vele ha, rava na bara na ba bara na zaya, jemanta bara doza, jevende la ba ba, revende mene mene ne mazanta. Jana ba brado zefe imakapa rava da brada baza la brada ba da ba je brada brada baza tala da ba braza vanta da da ba ive kose fanda bela ba je brada brada ba da ive ne brada ba da ba razo vento brada ya ilemene beha je vana ba da ba rava da ba da ba brado ze le vanda brada ze ba ya ive kose fanda mene ha ive la brado ze je Vende bala brado se fa koske fande le vente se falaba i makapa ravanda baya i vende bala ba i je vanda brada bala ba revende brada bala da ba brada ba zanta la la ba i je vanda brada ba zanta la la ba i vanda ba bra ravanda bala ba brada ba i je vanda bala zo vende le ve koske fande brada ha i vende brado se le ve i ko fanda bala ba i ya Bada bada baba, ravanda bradaza, je vende bradaza ba, le vako se fende mene ne maha, ravanda bada ba, le vranda bada ba, revende brada ba zanta la la baba, je vranda ba ya, revenko so fanda bada ba, revende bala, je vandoze, ya kapanda ba, ravanda bada ba, revende bradoze, ya kapanda bala ba bradoze, ya vende bradoze le ve, ya kapa, Father we need grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you all for joining me on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Now, as we're praying, the Lord just whispered a word in my heart that I want to share with you. So I need you to stay tuned. Don't leave. This word is for you.
this word is for you. This word is for you. This word is for you. Now, how many of you remember the Lord's Prayer? How many of you remember the Lord's Prayer? I, I'm, I'm using multiple cameras, so bear with me if I'm looking at one and I'm not looking at another one. But I believe that you will get the message, all right? How many of you remember the Lord's Prayer? All right. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All right. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Amen. Oh, Livado Sefrende Beha. Now, the reason why I have paused there is because that is where I want to talk to you about. And forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now, Matthew chapter 6, all right, verse number 12. And this is the prayer, the template prayer that Jesus gave to his disciples. That when you pray, pray in this manner. But in this prayer lies a very powerful revelation that many, 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 many of us listening, sometimes we neglect what the Lord is saying to us in the word. So let me repeat it again. Matthew chapter 1, chapter 6, verse 12. And forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Brothers and sisters listening to me on this platform, it is very clear. It is very clear that God will not forgive you of your trespass if you cannot forgive your brother. If you cannot forgive your sister, if you cannot forgive your mother, if you cannot forgive your, your father, if you cannot forgive your neighbor, they are trespass against you. God will not forgive you. He won't. I believe that we were having Bible study sometime at the church, and I made the statement that if God, if you can't forgive, God will not forgive you. And somebody asked me, are you sure? I said, yes. Now, let me give you a follow-up scripture, and then we'll talk about what trespass is, all right? Now, in the same book of Matthew chapter 6, I want you to look at the verse number 14. Matthew chapter 6, verse number 14. And this is what the Lord Jesus himself says. says that, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Now, so now he is spreading it abroad. He says that if you forgive men, if you forgive men, in that men includes women. If you forgive men and women, their trespasses, all right, then your heavenly father will also forgive you. There is a condition when it comes to forgiveness. And many people don't like to hear this because we want to hold on to our pain. We want to hold on to the hurt. We want to hold people hostage in our hearts because of what they did to us 10 years ago, because of what they did to us five years ago, because of what they did to us two weeks ago, so that it will justify our reaction or our actions towards them because the flesh wants to react. And the Lord is saying that, listen, I will only forgive you if you learn how to forgive your fellow man or woman. Now, listen, verse number 15. Matthew chapter 6, 15. But if you forgive not their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive your trespasses. So, so the 14 says, if you forgive, then God will forgive you. But if you don't forgive, then God will not forgive you. Case closed. Settle it. So let's look into trespass. Trespass. Now I know all of us, we know what trespass is. But I just, just to add a bit more color to what I am saying, trespass is talking about to fall beside or, or to divert 
or to deviate from the truth or uprightness. Sin, misdeed, misdeed, misdeed. All right? A fault, an offense, trespass. Okay? A fault or an offense. Now, it did not say when specifically that when someone lies or falsely accuses you, that one you cannot forgive. No. A fault is a fault. A sin is a sin. I'm not making sense to you. Betrayal is a sin. Be, uh, 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 what, what, what do you call it? Uh, uh, um, 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 um. False accusation is a sin. Gossip is also a sin. Fornication is also a sin. Stealing is also a sin. So, whatever your brother or your sister, let me summarize this, your neighbor has done to you, God expects you to forgive them. If you cannot forgive them, then God will also not forgive you. Now, listen to this. There was no clause in this when Jesus spoke. He did not say that if the person comes to say sorry, only when you forgive. He did not say that if the person comes to ask for your forgiveness or beg for your forgiveness, it's when you give. He says that if you do not forgive your brother, so some of us, we want to wait until the person will come and tell her, please, I've sinned against you, forgive me before you forgive No, 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 no. He says that if you want God to forgive you, then you must release yourself from every offense and bitterness. Every offense and bitterness you have, every unforgiveness you have in your heart against someone. So we have neglected the truth of the gospel and we want to do things our own way and we are expecting God to honor his word. It won't happen that way. It won't. No matter the grace available. No matter the mercy available, no matter the prayer you can pray, no matter the scripture you can, you can recite, God's word is final and God's word is true. Now, there is a scripture that says that if you are going to offer an offering to God, a sacrifice, and when you get to the altar, you remember that there is an offense against someone leave the sacrifice on the altar, go and make peace, and then once everything is cleared, you come back, and then you offer your sacrifice. Then only will your sacrifice be accepted by God. So there are many of us, there are many of you watching and listening, your praise and worship is not accepted by God because of the offense and the bitterness that we have in our heart. And you know what happens? Because of unforgiveness, there is, there is a crack in the wall of protection. There, 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 is, there is an opening in the head of fire. I'm not making sense. There is an open door to our soul and the enemy is using that route okay, to now manipulate and control the affairs of our life. And then we wonder why the enemy is gaining advantage over us. It's because we have rebelled against the word of the Lord. We have rebelled against the word of the Lord. Our Bible studies, I was sharing with the people of God that, listen, Jesus said a parable of a man that owned a lot of money. And then he was summoned by the judge. And when he came before him, he asked, hey, I need my money paid. And this guy entered into tears, cried, pleaded, please forgive me. I don't have the money. I can't pay. Even if I sell everything that I own, I will not be able to make that payment. He cried. And because this king, this judge, this, this, this lawyer was so rich in mercy, forgave him and said, you know what? I have forgiven you. You can go. And this man left. Let's say he left 
with a debt of, let's say, $5 million cleared. And then he went to his friend that owed him $500. And then he requested that his $500 be paid. And the guy also went on his knees and cried and said, I don't have it now. Give me some time. I will try and pay it. And he said, no, time is up. Beat him mercilessly and threw him into prison. There was a servant there. Saw and witnessed everything that happened. Went to his master and said, Master, the guy that you forgave, the debt of five million, has gone to beat his brother who owned him $500 and throwed him in prison and said, go and call him for me. He came and said, listen, you are ungrateful. I forgave you $5 million. Couldn't you have forgiven your brother $500? Now he began to talk, trying to explain. And said, listen, because of what you have done, I am sentencing you to a place where there is nothing of deep. Sentencing you to hell. Am I making sense to you? If you don't forgive, you find yourself in hell. You may be a churchgoer. You may be a pastor. You may be a pastor's wife. You may be an apostle. Hey, as a matter of fact, you may be the most cheerful giver in the church. But if you do not learn how to forgive, you are doomed for eternity. This is very serious. This is very serious. This is very serious. So serious that we need to pay attention to it. He says that, and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now I'm not going to go into the nitty gritty of things. But you know what you are holding your brother hostage over. You know what has been done to you. You know. See, forgiveness is a product of love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. To sacrifice him as an atonement for us. So that there will be forgiveness of sins. That we will be reconciled back into fellowship. Do you know what forgiveness does? Forgiveness is an invitation into fellowship with God the Father. So if you have truly forgiven. Then you have to also be able to extend the right hand of fellowship. To your brother or your sister that offended you. And if you have truly forgiven there must be a road mapped out to build trust. Huh. Oh, Jesus. This subject of forgiveness is very, is very, very important and very powerful. Listen, as you go on about your day to day and you celebrate love, don't only show love to the people that love you. Don't only show love to the people that buy you gifts. Don't only show love to the people that text you. Show love to those people that are self-acclaimed enemies of you. Show love to the people that offended you. Because forgiveness is a product of love. Let us learn to forgive. Because in forgiving our friends, in forgiving one another, happy love day to you too, Mama Sweetie. In forgiving our brother and sister, the Lord also will forgive you of all the sins that we have committed against you. God bless you so much for tuning in once again. It is an amazing time to be in the presence of the Lord. I want you right now to lift up your hands and pray this prayer. The Lord, grant me a heart that forgives. Grant me a heart that forgives. It doesn't matter who the person is. It doesn't matter what the person have done to you. 
even if the person is a witch, so-called witch, God says, forgive them. So he says that love your enemies. In that love, he says, in that love your enemies, he says, forgive your enemies. That's what he's trying to say. Forgive your enemies. Love your enemies. Pray for them that curse you. Oh, Jesus. Pray that God grant me a heart of forgiveness. It's painful to be betrayed by someone you trusted the most. But it is okay. Love, love, love covers the multitude of sin. Grant us a heart that forgives in the name of Jesus. God bless you for tuning in. God indeed is love. And love is indeed powerful. I pray that the Lord, the Holy Spirit, will help you love your neighbor as yourself and help you come to the place of forgiving one another. God bless you for tuning in. And tomorrow, God willing, we'll be back to spend time in prayer. Bye-bye.